Good afternoon everybody, this is North Carolina Prepper. In case you guys are wondering what I've been up to the past few days, I've been printing. I'm building a uh, enclosure for the, uh, the um, whatever that thing is, 3D printer. Um, fabricating all the brackets, I mean, <clears throat> the stuff you can make with this just blows my mind. I really had no clue, and I'm continuing. Now these are printed on low quality, because they're just going to hold the plexiglass. I'm using the IKEA LAC tables. Which are basically end tables, but you can just Google lac table enclosure and you'll see what I'm doing. But I'm printing all this stuff off. I mean, I don't know what what all this would have cost because I, you know, I spent a lot of money on L brackets and stuff. Well, that, those days are gone, uh, depending on structure. But like these will hold the leg tables and stuff. But you'll you'll see all that in a later video. I got some mods and stuff to do and designing as I go and I'm pulling things from, from different projects and printing the hinges and such. But, um, what's that one? This one. This is one that was printed higher quality, but it's solid. It's really strong. Um, <clears throat> so I've been doing a lot of printing, and, um, I've modified it to be, hold on. Alright, so basically, I've used the Raspberry Pi to make it a wireless printer. I've set up a server, and we'll go into that later. Basically, I use Octoprint. And uh, it's a Raspberry Pi image, you can just download, I'll put a link to that. And I'll let you watch the printer on like a web page on your local network. You can make it, you can make it over the internet, but you know, there's no need to, but you can. Um, <clears throat> but I'll tell you the print and all that stuff, and you can look at your actual uh, uh, layers, I guess you're printing. <clears throat> so I'll show you what's going on there and what it's printing. It was live and you see your, your your temperatures you're running at and all that stuff but I hang here just because I want to see the print time left about two hours so I'm printing a lot of things and it, it's not as fast as the laser printer by any means but you're taking a picture and making it real so and I just have this set up on the back right now so let me um, let me move over to that and I'll show you I'll be right back all right, so here's the actual printer running. I just got it set on an old coffee table right now uh, until I build my enclosure. Um, like I said, it's you know, it's printing, and uh, it takes a while to print. And uh, the camera you saw is just temporarily mounted. So I'm printing the new Raspberry Pi box to mount the camera and everything on the printer itself. Um, it's back there actually. There's a Raspberry Pi just sitting there, right above where the where the evil dog is chewed up the wall. Anyway, there's a the camera down there, and it's just sitting here on there, uh, printing. It's all happy, so that's basically it. <clears throat> I'm I'm gonna put about fifty dollars into upgrades. Um, you know, the power supply and mopeds and stuff, but basically, um. It prints everything it needs when it gets uh, for making modifications. Like there's some braces that go from here to here to reduce uh, Z wobble or whatever, which is up and down wobble. The higher it gets, it becomes an issue, I guess. But you can just print parts. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. I'm printing all the parts for the cabin I'm making. So other than the cost of tables, which if you could actually go to Ikea, which I don't feel like driving to, it'd be about $9 each and you need one, so I'm making a double stack and I'm printing out all the hardware to put together. Uh, other than that, I haven't put anything out, you know. Well, I mean, I, I bought some, some uh, electric components to upgrade this. I want to do it out externally, which isn't necessary, but it's what I want, so. And then I'll probably get a Raspberry Pi 3. I'm going to order one of those and put it on there. So, uh, a faster video. Um, but this can be controlled from a web page. A uh, local web page. Uh, you know, 192 dot whatever. Um, you can, I've, I've watched it on my phone. I've done it on the tablets. Anything. And like I said, if you want to put it out over the internet, do port forwarding and stuff, you can. But that's a little dangerous because... People could interrupt your print, and if you're printing something, it's like, I don't know, let's say a 20-hour print, 
someone can just cancel it. So you need to have access control anyway turned on. And um, yeah, so that's that's what I've been up to. <clears throat> I am just I am just overwhelmed at the cool stuff this can do. Uh, if you go to Thingverse, that's probably when, when I start doing my contest to print things out for people. Uh, I'll probably have them just pick something on Thingverse, you know. And uh, you know, different filaments. You can print rubber. If you wanted to print something that was going to take a beating, you could use like carbon fiber filaments. So there's there's metal filaments, well metal powder filaments. So if you need to print something that's conductive, you can. Um, just so so much. I'm, I'll put a link. And you got Thing Universe, and basically anything there, you can just hit a button and say, "I want that," and you can have it. You might have to assemble it, but still. <clears throat> but you could print a full set of Iron Man armor. I saw a guy print that, or Stormtrooper armor. Now you print it in pieces and you gotta glue it together, but the point is you could. So, if you want to go on Halloween as Master Chief, or, or a Stormtrooper, or whatever, you, you could. You know, I'll probably just print one of those Pit Boys. Uh, Pip Boy 3000, you know, wear it on my wrist, and throw a Raspberry Pi in there, and get a jumpsuit that says Volt 21, and we'll call it done. <laughs> but you could, and there's plans to print that stuff. So it's just, wow, just, I'm really, really overwhelmed and fascinated. Um, I'm using Fusion 360 for my modeling. I haven't printed anything I've modeled yet, because it's all horrible, but I'm I'll get to that as soon as I up my skill set on that, but for the prepper, there you go. You can print this out, you can put it in plaster of Paris, you can melt the, the plastic out of it and have yourself a mold, and just pour aluminum in there and have whatever you need to cast in aluminum, or steel, or whatever else the mold will support. Usually plaster of Paris and silicon is good for like molten aluminum, so if you want to design some Star Trek Klingon knife or something, you could. You, you easily could. So we'll see. Alright, this is Dr. Pepper. I just want to let you guys know what I've been up to. And, uh, yeah, it's wireless now. <laughs> so that's good. Alright, have a great day, everybody. Dr. Pepper out.